burdened with glorious purpose. <laughs> if only I'd be so smart as to make that reference. Demetrius's birthday today. Fortune teller says, spirits are mildly perturbed. And we have star fruit. Which means we can switch. We can switch back to Artisan, right? Let me just double check. Stardew Valley star fruit. Yeah, if we if we harvest on Friday and replant on Friday with just deluxe speed grow and no agriculturalist, we get one more harvest. Oh, which obviously I knew uh, without checking the wiki. Oh, on the frame by frame computer play in the perfect game of Stardew. I see. Okay, so I don't have enough star fruit seeds on me, but we're gonna go to the desert anyway and give Sandy a cave carrot. I guess we could just start harvesting. New, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't even a case of double checking. More of a case of, you know, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that I was doing my due diligence and this wasn't all just, you know, it's just not luck based. It was. Uh, in insert valid excuse here. Still check the wiki for growth patterns too, I'm not that sweaty. The only reason why, uh, Larian, is because I didn't get this full field of crops planted on the first day of summer. Um, so I had to switch one of my professions over to agriculturalist so that I could get an extra harvest of starfruit this season. Um, so I needed to know at the point where I could rotate it back in for um, artisan because I've been saving my, my wine ever since. So there is method behind the madness, of course, as always. Just sometimes the, the madness overshines the method. Someone should write that down, that's a fantastic quote. Yes, yes, I was I was validating the wiki, if anything. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, me uh me Misa Mo Chan. For some reason I was trying to call you Mika Mo Chan. Which is incorrect and not your name at all. By the way, if you're new here, hello, my name's Dazbound. I'm not actually that big headed. Um, I'm actually very humble, probably the most humble person in the world. It takes a very humble person to admit how humble they are. Um, I'm not actually that big headed. It's an act. I really do consider myself to be very lucky and mostly dumb dumb. With a little bit of knowledge, but not that much knowledge. Usually, chat tells me what to do. It's an act. I just play it very well, apparently. <laughs> At least I think I do. Thank you, Triven, for writing that down. That was a fantastic quote. Yeah, I'm just being silly, exactly. This is satisfying. It's the sound of making money. Well, we're not making money. We will tomorrow, though. Because we're getting rid of Artisan. Ah! But well, we're getting Artisan again. If that timed with, um... With all of the kegs being done as well, that would be nine keg sheds worth of starfruit star wine. But alas, I've only got six kegs wor uh, sheds worth of starfruit wine. Chat, what is... 6 multiplied by 137. That's my wooden path. Well, what's half of 137? 68 and a half. Oh, you've already done it. 822? Alright, chat. How many... How much does 822 bottles of starfruit wine sell for? With Artisan. Well, this is why, you know, calculators are allowed, me, uh, me, I did it again, Misumo chan you, you are allowed to use a calculator for this test. It's a number with a lot of numbers in it. It's what, what, 3,100 or something like that? 
multiplied by 822, we're going to make like two and a half million. More than 821 bottles will sell for. Oh, 42? Oh yeah, I am astonished. I have no idea what that quote is meant to mean. Just regular quality wine, yeah. I've not bothered putting any in casks. It takes too long. I'm boring like that. Yeah, I think we're getting over three, uh, two and a half million. 800 times by three. Yeah. 2,589,300 gold. Haley, we're going shopping! You can buy yourself something pretty. Uh, as long as it's either a gold clock or an obelisk. Sick of the money we need for the expensive stuff. That's almost enough for all four obelisks. Getting loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> That's crazy. That's almost enough for all four obelisks. Haley, you can get that fancy purse. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. All right. So, how many star fruit do we need? Five hundred ninety-four plus three, five hundred ninety-seven. It's annoying. Uh, I should empty up out these. Um... These uh, these lightning rods here. Be short on money based on current production rates. Um, what do you mean? How so? Please elaborate and, and explain. Because I don't like the idea of being short. I don't either, but I'm short every day. <laughs> One and a half million every week. Or like 1.3 million every week. I think I see what you mean. We've only got like eight weeks of processing. Uh, we might make it. We have ten rotations of your kegs left. One point eight million? That doesn't seem right. I've got three sheds. I've got three sheds full of kegs. Three sheds full of one hundred and thirty seven kegs. So I have four hundred and eleven. I think. Yeah, I've got 411 kegs. Technically, I've got two more. I've got 413 kegs. <laughs> also, that doesn't seem to add up. 137 times 10 times... Yeah, 5.5 .5 million. That doesn't seem to add up either. When I, when I figured this out, I thought I had plenty of time. A little bit short. Hmm. No, what what got put away there? She don't know what got put away there. Halfway through the summer, you're going to need a little extra to be on the safe side. Though you probably have a million in mis miscellaneous items on your farm. Get real close. I mean, I 
I do plan on setting up a a fourth keg shed. Uh, I've got the wood for it. I've got the the oak resin for it. I'm working on the copper and the the iron, but I keep running out of coal. No, Tokyo Honeywell suggested doing that, and I didn't want to because I thought babysitting a bunch of um, uh, preserve jars would take too much time. Because I'd have to like, you know, you you have to you have to babysit them twice a year or twice a week rather than just once a week, basically. Slow me tell me, slowly tell me the numbers again. Okay, so I have a hundred and thirty. Sorry, four hundred and thirteen kegs. Producing 413 ancient fruit wine every week. And the ancient fruit wine sells for apparently 3,150 per bottle. I thought I calculated this out to be more doable. Hmm. That's fine. We'll get another shed set up. I'll, I'll get another one built today. We'll, we'll have four. Then I'll start um, hopefully getting the, uh, the stuff processed. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to the desert. Math got weird in the middle. You're fine. So, so which bit, which bit got scuppered? <laughs> which bit got, um, got, got gajumbled? So hold on, if we do 413 times by 3150... four thirteen times by 3150, that's 1.3 million per week. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's, that's what I calculated it out to be. 1.3 million per week. As long as we're on the same page, and uh, we agree that I'm good to go, and we stop giving me a, uh, a heart attack. <laughs> starfruit wine, not ancient fruit. Starfruit. I can't remember how many I needed, so I'm just going to buy about that many. We're nearly broke. Oh, did I say ancient? Oh, I apologize. Starfruit wine. Funny math teachers knew what we were using. We're not exactly using algebra. We're just using simple multiplication. Well, you know, no find X's. Nothing like that. I needed to go into town for something. What was it? Mr. World Games, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. How you doing? How's stream? Hope you're well. I didn't know if it was three sheds until I ran the first calc. Then I put in the wrong spot. Ah, math is weird. Ma yeah, math is math is always weird. Never right, is it? Oh, I needed to go see Robin, didn't I, to go get a shed built? Uh, we've left the basement to raid. Welcome from the basement. How is your stream? What what are you up to today? Tell us all about it. I appreciate the raid, I really do. I hope you had a good time. We are we're doing a an attempt of completing Stardew Valley perfectly within the shortest time frame possible, which is within two years. Been a while, yeah. Well, I hope you've been keeping yourself well. Hope the family's been been well as well. How many more times can I say well in one sentence? Well, I think a few more times. Each rotation is 1.3, yeah, just, just over 1.3 million. And if I had a fourth shed, I'd be able to just convert more of it. Basically, I, I only need something like seven harvests, um, and then ten conversions, I think, in total. 
from what I figured out. And we're already like four harvests in. We've got a lot of extra star fruit at the moment. If I can get a fourth keg shed going, um, then that means that we would be able to convert all of the star fruit into into wine even quicker, and then complete the the challenge or the the money part of the challenge quicker. I realized I forgot to start my roast for dinner. I'm already at work. Guess I'm having something different for dinner. You can have roast tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. Especially if you're looking forward to something. Sorry, CC. Low key, my echo being triggered by just a random thing that I'm saying makes me jump more than my raid alert. 137 kegs per shed, plus two extra, which I have on my farm and in my my bedroom as signal kegs. Red alert gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry. But, you know, it's meant to be, you know, we're being raided. You know, that's not a cozy time, is it? It's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a startle. Ah, a raid. It's not, ooh, a raid. You know? Or, ah, a raid. It's, ah, a raid. I should be an actor. Ooh, a piece of candy. Got to figure out what time I get home tomorrow as I go over to my parents after work uh, for a phone meeting with the mortgage loan company. Well, maybe Friday then? Building upgrade costs. Shed. Just 300 wood. Easy peasy. Let's go get a shed. Echo triggered by a random conversation. It's just funny because she never understands what I'm saying. So she always goes, hmm, I don't know that one. Like, well, if you don't know it, then don't answer it, you daft robot. What did she even think I said that she couldn't answer? Ooh. 5 p.m., 5 p.m. Nailed it. Um, where is it? I forget how you get to it now. Is it that one in the top right? No, that's the skills. Um, have they moved it? The history? Not play, not. Is it devices? All devices? No. More? Active. Hello? Crystal Kamu, thank you for the prime. Streaking for four months, thank you so much. Voice history, there we go. I s apparently I said specially looking okay, forward to so something. maybe I like it here. Guess you'll have to put up with me of and on. Does a cool. Crystal Kamu, thank you very much for the six month resub. What am I doing again? Oh no, I'm not doing this. It's too expensive. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you very much for the six month resub. The the streaking for the for the for the four months. Much appreciated. How's the challenge going? Uh reasonably well. We just worked out that I'm gonna have enough Um Well, as long as we have the star fruit for it, I'm gonna have enough shed space and kegs for all of my star fruit wine, which is glorious. Just gotta make myself some more kegs, I guess. I need some coal. I think we're gonna do a little bit of coal farming chat. Just super quick. Hello, Mrs. Will. How are ya? Okay, so we need to get rid of the star fruit seeds, which go in here. Are we gonna monster musket up? Oh, but before we go, make sure we respec our far uh, not farming. Um, yes, our farming skill. The star fruit wine give you more than ancient fruit wine. Yes. So it's a big sort of like 
hubbub about which one to do. Some people swear by ancient fruit wine, some people swear by star fruit wine. Personally, I always go for star fruit wine. Um, why did I come down here again? Respecking. Yeah, personally, I always go for star fruit wine because it gives more money than ancient fruit wine. But it's more involved to harvest it and, you know, regrow it and whatnot. Whereas ancient fruit, you just pluck it. No, you're not doing it wrong. I don't think there is a right or wrong way. Pork, pork. Does it like being hands-on? I just like the idea that each bottle of wine is worth more if I go for star fruit. Um, and I know that I can grow enough star fruit that I can keep the kegs going constantly. That's all. Yeah, like, there's benefits to going for ancient fruit, such as you only have to harvest it. You have to harvest it once a week, and that's fine. But you only need as many ancient fruit plants as you do have kegs, because kegs just take a week to process. I think I prefer ancient fruit, but I'm lazy and I don't like replants of fruit every 13 days. Yeah, exactly. See, I've got Deluxe Speed Grow down at the moment, which um, shortens how much time there is between harvests of my, uh, my star fruit. And I would much, especially for this challenge as well, if I was doing ancient fruit instead of star fruit, I would need a bunch more extra star fruit plants, or ancient fruit plants. The thing is with ancient fruit is, yeah, they, they can, like, multiply quickly once you've got a good crop of them. Um, but considering the fact that I still don't have the ancient seed artifact, <laughs> I would have been screwed. You know, we're, we're in the middle of year two, and I've only got about 50 or 60 ancient fruit plants at the moment. Because I just got super unlucky with artifacts. I didn't get one early enough to um, start multiplying. Hey, Plum! I'm glad you've got some... Uh, is that Iris Laburbs? Emotes? The Piplops? I have like 10 or something. Ancient fruit plants in my greenhouse. I just pop those in kegs. Yeah, no, they give a decent chunk of money. That's for sure. And it's once a week, you know? It's very easy to keep track of them. You know that if your, say, your wine is ready on a Friday, then you just go and harvest your ancient fruit on a Friday, put them all in kegs, and take out your wine. You know? It's, uh, it's, it's much tighter in terms of scheduling. Again, it's Stardew Valley. It's to each their own. No. Oh. Forget how you get the ancient fruit artifact. Um, I think it's easiest to get them from like the uh, the bugs. You can get a bunch of them from the the bugs in the mines. Ghost noise is funny. It's funnier when you kill a bunch of them all at once because it sounds like a bunch of race cars going past. Okay, we need to kill nine more rock crabs, fifty more mummies, a bunch of pepperexes, a bunch of serpents, a bunch of magma sprites. Some void spirits. I should work on this at some point. Ghost goes F1. No, oh, 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 oh. You see what I mean? Perfect example. I think it's quite rare to get a bunch of ghosts on these uh, regular mines, though. They're more a lot more common in the skull caverns. And I do plan on doing a Skull Cavern run. Uh, we've got a mission to do one this week. For a bunch of key gems. 13 days to grow, right? Uh, won't they be dead? Uh, no, I've got Deluxe Speed Grow down. So, they will take 9 days to grow. Which means my last ones will be ready to harvest on the last day of summer. Um, I don't think this time, Julie. Just because it's dangerous mines? And I, I, I'm going to probably focus more on staying alive than I will on mining. So I think if I go do a, a deep dive in the caverns, I will definitely do a prediction for you guys. But not when I've got dangerous uh, skull caverns active. 
I mean, we're going to make it to floor 100 easily anyway, because I'm going to staircase the majority of the way there. Oh. 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 3002 questions all about me. What's something that made you smile recently? When I got my mail from Tish. Wait, Tish, are you here? Still, sorry to call you out if you're not, or if you're, if you're lurking. But Tish also sent me Tim Tams. And I want to try, because I've, I've been saying about how I had Tim Tams before, from when, you know, I was, I was going out with Voldemort. She went to Australia and she brought back some double chocolate Tim Tams. And I was like, eh, they're not that great. And Tish was like, that's because they're double chocolate. You've got to try the original ones. So Tish sent me the original ones. Never had Tim Tams. Well, apparently they're basically identical to penguins that we can get here in the UK. So I was going to wait until, uh, until Tish was here and I was going to try Tim Tam, which are definitely good for my diabetes. You think they're better than penguins? Interesting. Those away. Don't even know what else went away. <laughs> oh, some coffee beans. You are, once again, ugly, wimpy, goat, stinky cheese. <laughs> that sounds like a... a, a six-year-old trying to insult their friend that, like, drunk their chocolate milk. What are penguins? They're kind of like Tim Tams. <laughs> they it's... It's like two chocolate biscuits or cookies, if you're American, with a layer of, like, chocolate cream in the middle, and then coated in chocolate. Chocolate is nice on Tim Tams. I'm just wondering how they would have fared on the flight. Because typically when you, like, ship chocolate, it tends to bloom. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that would have survived, but we shall see. No, you're a stinky cheese. I'm rubber, you're glue. What you throw at me bounces and sticks to you. Well, so I, can't, I butchered that entirely, but you get the idea. Auburn's covered in chocolate, pretty much. Pretty much. They look like Keebler fudge cookies. I would, uh, is that an American thing? Sounds like an American thing. Super hard to get snacks from overseas. Oh, Jade's ready. The stinky cheese man and other fairy hot tails. Oh dear. <laughs> so we've got we got 44 jades saved up. We've got two magic rock candies. We've got 78 stairs. Yeah, but I, I feel, t um, Tiz, because you like, you know, because you're, you're Italian and you live in the Italy's, I feel like your food, like, like the food that you can get is generally better than stuff that you can get imported in from elsewhere. Night, night, sweetheart. Still wearing my same hat. Hey, we leveled up farming. Let's go for Tiller and Artisan. Got it from the Scholastic Book Fair. One time my mom let me buy books from there. Scholastic. Never heard of that. That must also be an American thing. The Italy's, yeah. Yeah. T Tis is from the Italy's. I guess the only solution is to travel. Well done. You're going to have to tra I forgot Demetrius's birthday. That would have maxed him out! Oh, that's so frustrating! No, Demetrius! It's fine, we'll carry on gifting him. Fortune Teller says, spirits are neutral. Okay, I'll save the, um... Oh, battery pack. 
I'll save the jump into Skull Caverns for tomorrow so that we can get some staircases. Good morning, sweetheart. Say goat cheese. Go goat cheese. You still... She still loves me. I know, I, f I know I messed up, chat, okay? Trust me. I know. One than anyone. Hello, Shro. Isn't it a US thing? But usually a US thing. But would you like to make your mind up? <laughs> Please. What's some classic English dishes? Fish and chips, that's all we got. I'm sorry, it's it's just not exciting. Did I not have more truffle oil in that? Did I only pick one out, is that why? Oh. Uh, I guess a full English breakfast, maybe, is also English. All these animals that want food. Sorry guys. I'm the worst farmer. Right, Robin's building the shed. What was that noise? Sunday roast is English? Uh, kind of, I guess, yeah. It's funny though, because like... Every time, every time I'm watching CK and... Like, someone asks him, oh, what's a Sunday roast? He's like, oh, it's like Thanksgiving, but we have it every week. I'm like, eh, it's not. It's not, like, as big of a spectacle as Thanksgiving dinner. But... Similar thing, I guess. Just chicken is a small turkey, I suppose. <laughs> have a good luck, Shro. Alright, we have stuff to schmelt. What's up, Cookie Kit? How you doing? Welcome back, Em. Run out of bloobs? Oh, they're going there. Same as the tomatoes. Randomly found the stream yesterday, and I have to say, it's been a delight! Everyone seems so nice and does your great company while I work. Hey, thank you certainly, Millie. That was very kind of you to say. And thank you for boosting my ego. Let's be honest. I think we can all agree that my ego needs to be bigger. Spectacle is a perfect <laughs> description of Thanksgiving. All right, chat, we're going to throw the wine into the uh, the shipping container because I don't think I need money today. Where's my truffle all gone? Made a wardrobe entirely by sewing. Nice. I think, maybe. Yeah, give that back. Do I actually need truffle oil for cooking? I'll save like five, just in case. Have you ever tried Indian food? Um, Maybe. Pass. I actually don't know. So probably not, if I can't remember it. Okay, we go to Ginger Island. We get... 10 ginger. We just need 10 ginger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we have to gift anyone today? Don't think so. I'm so mad that I missed Demetrius' birthday. Yeah, we're fine on gifting. <sighs> Just, we cannot forget Leo's birthday. This is Vanilla, uh, Atolian Queen. Yeah, I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. Last time I played was two years ago and a bunch of stuff looks different. Yeah, yeah, well, the game has definitely seen different days since then, that's for sure. A fight with a cousin on Thanksgiving over mashed potato every year. If they should be smooth or have potato lumps in them. I feel like there's different things you can be doing on Thanksgiving than arguing about mashed potatoes. <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, it's okay, Raman. It's, you know, 
If we lose this, lose this run because we're not best friends with Demetrius, we, we know who to blame. It's fine, don't worry about it. So, my granddad used to make the best mashed potatoes ever. And he's gone now, so I can't ask him how to make them. Because he, uh, he sadly left us when I was 18. Uh, and I didn't make food, I guess, at that age. Was I 18? Or was I 17? I was, I was 17. Um, so I never learned the secrets of his mashed potato, but he made the best. I don't know what type of potato he used, I don't know how long he cooked them for, I don't know the ratio of butter and milk that he used, but they were the nicest mashed potatoes I ever did have. old was I? I was young. What? But to each your own. But there was cream or cheese? No, there was no cream or cheese. He was a, he was a milk and butter man. That's for sure. But I don't know the, uh, the type of potato he used to use. He, okay, he, the, the reason why his mashed potatoes were so good is that they were they were smooth there were never there was never a lump in it he he mashed the the heck out of that that potato um but never to the point where it went sloppy and gloopy it was like a smooth but firm mashed potato and that's how i liked it that was when 2021 nothing's compared yeah That generation, they just knew how to cook good food, man. Yes, ramen, I completely agree. I see people that, like, make mashed potato recipes, believe it or not, on YouTube. And whenever I see mashed potatoes, it always looks like liquid and cream. And I'm just like, eh, that's not mashed potatoes. When, it, when it's firm, that's good mashed potato. Alright, we did it, chat. Island ingredients has been complete. So since we're here, let's uh, let's go into the volcanoes. See if we can farm up some stuff that we need. Prefer it smooth since sensory issues. Yeah, uh, I don't really mind. I can I can like mash a potato pretty smooth without making it gluey, but I can never get to the same like. I can never make it the same way my granddad used to make it. He was a mashed potato artisan, that's for sure. Can't reach that guy. Well, he sucks. I'm gonna ignore him. Sieve or a ricer to instant. Well, a ricer. I wouldn't say a rice. A, a ricer mashes the potato. I think it just gets it very fine, very quickly compared to mashing it. Because uh, she who must not be named made us get a potato ricer, and it was terrible. <laughs> I was like, I can do a way better job just mashing this self. But yeah, the the masher or the ricer gets a good start on it, I suppose. Work luck, no worries, Carbon Gen. Appreciate you, thank you so much for the work luck. Didn't bring bombs, I should have brought bombs. These are mainly what I'm here for. I don't really need gold. Soup? No. Mashed potato is not soup, funnily enough. But we take mashed potato very seriously here, Lily. I got the lava eel. Well done, well done. I'm proud of you. No golden walnut there, sadly. Um, um. Alright, I want to get to at least level 5. Should be able to manage that. Anything over here? Have we got a gadget. Might as well knock that out. I'm hoping that once we knock out one of the gadgets, we may get some more of the, uh, the golden walnuts. Cheese and potato pie, that's what we call it, um, sub. 
cheesy mash, aka cheese and potato pie. Which is literally just mash, mashed potato mixed with cheese. Never had bacon bits in it. But I can see the appeal. Oh, and then you stick it in a dish after mashing it. Throw some cheese on top and then stick it under the grill. Oh! You get those crispy bits. Oh! Run! Run. Why'd the music stop? Oh, that's not good. I wanted... I wanted goodies. We need to find a, a, one of the rare chests, chat. That's what we need. That's a guaranteed golden walnut in there, and then maybe something cool, like a luck ring. Or I don't actually know what rings you can get from the, the rare chests. I don't really care about an ostrich egg. Um, I've already said if I get an ostrich egg, I'm just going to sell it. Well, the one that we're guaranteed to get, I'm just going to sell. Growing ostriches is not something that I'm bothered about doing on this farm. Because I probably won't have time to. Oh, there's a golden walnut. Nice. Hey, vanilla honey. Uh, I remember asking for scraps at a fry shop. Next time I'm in the UK. Mm-hmm. Makes me hungry and I just ate some chicken wings. I wasn't... I had a decently sized lunch today. I didn't have it too... too long ago either. I also had breakfast. Which is... I haven't had breakfast for a while. What did I even have for breakfast? I've forgotten. I had toast. Ooh, Omnigeode. Alright, where's the, uh, where's the button? Where's the bouton? Oh, this isn't fair. Oh, it's over here. Bottom right? Yeah. Just just caught a glimpse of it. The hot java ring? Is that the one that gives you a speed buff? Like, every time you get hit? Yeah. Come over here. You demon! Dragon's tooth. No. Okay. You get coffee? It just gets put in your inventory? I don't think I've ever used the Java ring. Leave me be, I just want cinder shards. I will gladly harvest them from your dead corpse. You asked for it. Come at me, bro. Bring it. He didn't drop anything. Okay, we got a little bit of time left in the day. We can probably get to floor nine and not die. Yeah, Napalm Ring is one of my favorites. Napalm Ring is fantastic for Skull Cavern runs. Coffee with ranch dressing? I beg your pardon, what? <laughs> Excuse me? I see you, Lava Locker. Oh, the dragon's tooth dropped. I didn't have any room. It's a shame. Napalm ring. So you get the napalm ring from um, completing the monster eradication goal for killing serpents. I think you have to kill 250 of them. And it causes an explosion around you every time you kill an enemy. Very good for clearing out rocks because you can just swipe your sword in a bunch of like monsters, and then it, it has the chance to just break some rocks around you, and then, you know, it helps you mine stuff, it helps you reveal staircases quicker. Very, very nice ring. One of my favorites to use. Darn you! I hate these, these lighter colored ones. Does it hurt you? Napalm? No. No, no, the napalm ring doesn't. It just causes an explosion to happen around you, and no damage. I don't need that emerald. I'll try that one, it sounds good. It's very good. It's one of my favorites. I always use it. Who put butter in coffee? I don't even ask. 
Wait, oh, Gears is the one that said coffee with ranch. Like, what? <sighs> Slow day, Gears. Not much going on. Guys, they're surrounding me. Slime charm and napalm and iridium and burglaring combos. I I would agree with you. Um, the only thing I would sub that out for, I would sub out maybe the slime charmer for the lucky ring if I ever get it. So a TikTok that someone duetted with when they were messing around with things and the the dupe who duetted it was was like napalm. You just made napalm. Okay. Buttering coffee is a real thing. Sounds vile. To each their own. A lot of people think that, um... Uh, what's it called? Um... Pineapple on pizza sounds vile. You know what I say? Don't put pineapple on your pizza then. Sadly, we did not get a dragon's tooth. Ah! Getting late. Uh, I can make it through through the last floor. This usually has good loot in it as well, doesn't it? Like a pretty good chance to have a rare chest. Pretty easy floor as well as far as final floors go. Just gotta find the the bouton. We are and. Another dragon's tooth? Oh, there is a... Ah, oh, it's a regular chest over on there on the left. Come on. Don't be a jerk. Thank you. Okay, that was that was very jerkish. Uh, we might pass out, but I might just take the hit. Especially because there might be something good in that chest on the other side. Uh, on 20. Where's the button for it? Is it in... Oh, I'm not going to get it. Not going to happen. Oh, I might get it. It could happen. 20 minutes. Come on, goodies. Nah, not happening. Oh, it's a regular chest anyway. It wasn't a rare one. Sweat, yeah. It took me too long to figure out that, that floor. Oh, a couple of elbow clicks. Oh, hello! Haley, Get your old purse. You're going to get a new purse. Or three today. Wow. Couldn't find the English translation for this, but you know those salted cream butts that you put on pancakes and it melts? Because those taste really good and they can maybe, I can imagine, taste ni nice in coffee. Maybe, yeah. I think I know what you mean. I know, because our pancake, what we call pancakes, the rest of the world calls crepes. Like, our pancakes are crepes. We don't have pancakes like, like American pancakes, you know. Crepes, crepes. <laughs> 